today we're looking at makeup fails. Topic that I'm allowed to talk on because I'm often a makeup fail. Lashes so big, you lose control over your own eyelids. I feel personally attacked right now. I used to wear lashes like this years ago. I used to leave them around the house to like scare the crap out of my boyfriend who like thought they were giant centipedes. But really, they were just my eyelashes. I look back on it now and I'm like, girl, what would you thinking? Oh no. I love their attitude though. <laughs> Just laughing about it. Doing eyeliner be like, you're like, oh, it looks nice. But then you put a little too much on the other eye. So then you gotta like balance it out, you know? Even it out. Oh no, it's getting real thick. Oh no, it's becoming a wing. And then you're like, there's no going back. I just can't ever go out in public. Problem solved. My friend took black hairspray instead of setting spray after four hours of makeup. Four hours of makeup? Baby girl, baby girl. I would cry after doing five minutes of makeup. Never mind four hours. Day gone. Oh no. It looks like she's going somewhere fancy. Oh, I don't. I feel so bad. She's just like stunned. She can't even move. She's like, I was so pretty. I mean, you can kind of tell. Like, she crushed it with the makeup underneath. Here's the bright side. It doesn't look like you got any on the dress. I bet you probably look amazing even without the makeup. I say, hear me out. Shower and just like do what you can with the time and go enjoy the night. You'll have fun. I promise you, you'll still have fun. When you spend three plus hours on your makeup and you drop the mascara in your face. What? It looks like you dropped it like four times. How do you even pull that off? I understand you drop it once, but like four times? It's like she dribbled it like a basketball. Aww. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, I know it's supposed to be like a fail. It's supposed to be like, oh no, they're failing. But I can't. I just want everyone to succeed and do well. And I don't think any of you guys are failures. You all make mistakes. It's kind of endearing and cute. Okay, so she put on this intensive skin mask and it looks like she's shedding her skin like a snake. I don't know what it is, but like, why do you gotta look old to look young? Why is it the more dramatic the process, the more I feel like it works? Wait, is she going out in public? I love the confidence. It looks painful though. Oh, I feel bad for like people who are there who are like kind of just concerned for her and they're like, are you okay? Wait, you're putting your makeup with a candy cane? Can you not? My face feels sticky just from watching this. Okay, so she takes requests. Can she do a doorknob next? Wait, wait, no, no. A refrigerator. I would love to see it. Maybe like a handful of blueberries. Yeah! I tried to do my makeup today because I'm doing the makeup film videos. So I was like, I should at least try. How'd I do? Remember the time a makeup artist got so drunk and said, Oh no. That should be a crime. You can't make up under the influence. This is somebody's face. Throwback to when I couldn't go to prom because my makeup was so bad. First of all, look at her face. She's so naturally pretty. I haven't seen the makeup yet, but I think you could like wash it off and be super stunning and like still enjoy your prom. But I get it. You want to feel pretty. You want to feel like your best. Hey, honestly, she did you dirty. That makeup artist did you dirty. Look how cute she is. And you know what it is? I think it's because they use like too many sparkles over her skin and it made her skin look like it has texture that it doesn't actually have, you know? Oh no, what are you gonna do? I'm scared. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you call a death wish. Girl, if you need an alibi, I got you. Hit me up. That was rude. She's like powder all over her face. Oh no. She can't get those giant contacts out of her eyes. <laughs> Honestly, I've seen people use them and they look really cool for costumes, but I would never. You could not pay me enough to do this. I struggle enough with the regular contacts and I do it for the costume life. But these I would not do for the costume life. Her struggle right now is why I wouldn't do it. Oh my, I just want to give her a hug. What do you do? Does anybody have a hack? And there's nothing worse than like when you're just done with contacts and you're like, I need them out of my eyes now and then you can't. I've actually struggled with regular ones and I couldn't get them out for a very long time. Oh, <gasps> yes! I'm so happy for you coming out. Okay, one more to go. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Why are you doing that? It already looks like it's not gonna end well. Looks like you're putting fake blood on your face. Um, she looks confident. I'm not that mad at it. Kinda looks like you got some sun, a little bit of tan, a little bit of burn, a little bit of lobster. Lobster, but make it pretty, you know? Why? Just like eating a stick of lipstick, like take the edge off or something? Do experts say it's better than meditating? I don't know. I kind of personally think it's giving me more anxiety. So like, what's not? Filming a makeup tutorial, okay? Her makeup looks perfect. I don't see how you could mess up at this point. 
<gasps> was he pranking her or did he just puke powder on her? I can't tell. Putting on nails yourself or painting your own nails, it's like one of the most difficult things in the world, for me at least. Some people are good at it. I am not one of those people. I can kind of handle doing my left hand, but when it comes to my right hand, it's like, why even bother? No, don't feel down, baby girl. You are cute. Butterfly clip. So cute, the solo one. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. Keep going. I feel like you're crushing it. Hey, believe in yourself. Why did she give up? I actually thought she was doing good. Sometimes people are just perfectionists and the rest of us are like, you were crushing it. I can relate to that feeling though. <gasps> oh, she got it in her eye eye. I've done that. And every time I'm like, I'm gonna go blind. And every time I don't. So, you know. Yeah! So, eyeballs freak me out a little bit, you know? They're pretty, but the thought of touching one, just like, Ooh. I have a makeup fail story for you guys. So this one time I got my makeup done by like a celebrity makeup artist and I went to the Brit Awards, which is like this red carpet event. Actually, I walked the red carpet with Billie Eilish, which was really cool. Anyways, I'm, I'm getting in like ahead of myself. The part that wasn't cool was like, like I was saying, I got my makeup done by a professional celebrity makeup artist and you would think you'd be super happy and you'd feel really beautiful. I was so upset. It looked terrible. She made me look like 10 years old like I looked like I had two black eyes and I didn't have the heart to tell her I didn't like it because I didn't want to offend her because I knew she was like a professional and like really good at what she does I guess maybe I don't know maybe she was like working on actual celebrities and she didn't care to do mine well or we have different styles regardless I went to the bathroom and I cried upside down so I didn't ruin it I fixed it after she left oh I hate seeing people cry it makes me so sad that was me when I got my makeup done oh no oh, the red lipstick everywhere honestly this is so relatable this is why I like try not to wear red lipstick too often, especially if I'm going out. It's like footprints at a crime scene. You can like track down the suspect and the victims like pretty quickly. Oh no, the eyelashes on her eyelid. Okay, contour time. That eyelash is upside down. I feel like this is intentional. Can't be a fail if you did it on a purpose. She went to the worst makeup artist in her city, and this is what she got. I mean, if you go to the worst rated makeup artist, what are you expecting? Looks nothing like the photo. I don't think I could do that either. That's like a complicated look. Like, how are you gonna go to the worst rated makeup artist and give them something so complicated and complex? You're just setting them up for failure. You want them to do a bad job at that point. What's going on? I'm scared. Why are there peas? Are you putting peas in your face? Why are you putting tea in your face? I'm terrified. Can we? Oh no, there's a... Oh, the... there are the peas. There are the peas. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All things considered. How does this actually look decent? When I go out in public like that? No, I still think she's talented. When you accidentally pick up the fake tan instead of the setting spray. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No! Her makeup was ready, it was perfect, and now she has to redo it and she's also gonna be tan and when she might not want to be. But you know what, I said that. But after examining this a bit more, she kind of looks like she just has cute freckles. I was here for it. Okay, what's the makeup feel? You look great. How are you gonna mess this up? Oh, I get it. When you do your makeup in one lighting and then you see yourself in another lighting, you don't look how you thought you looked because the lighting did you dirty. Underrated video. Whoa, that looks so good. That might be some of the coolest makeup I've ever seen. Look at how like crisp the lines are and all the like, logos and then the rainbows in her eyes oh wait oh she's drinking the paint water that was the fail it wasn't the makeup i mean how could it be the makeup it's flawless oh she's okay Ooh. oh baby girl no also got ptsd from something like that it happened to me back when i used to paint all the time i used to love to paint i used to want to be an artist Ooh, it also reminded me of another time this one time i woke up in the middle of the night i grabbed what i thought was water and went to chug it it was actually rubbing alcohol and then i had to call poison control and i thought it was to die. Spoiler alert, I'm fine. Anyways, moral of the story is look before you drink. <laughs> She's feeling herself and no one's gonna tell her otherwise. That's the kind of confidence I'm looking for. Slay. It can't be a fail if you love it. Oh no, I think I know what's gonna happen. Oh, her lashes. No! Oh, may your lashes grow back fast and double the thickness. Godspeed. My sister forgot to wear sunscreen to her graduation ceremony. Oh no. That's an unfortunate tan line. Oh no. She kind of, when he asked for nudes, this is what you said. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Letting your two-year-old do your makeup shh and no cheating that's part of the process oh and how gentle his little hand was <laughs> i'm kind of worried for her eyeballs to be honest i mean what did we think was gonna happen were you expecting anything else other than fabulousness when he like put the lip gloss on her forehead i kind of wanted him to be like simba 
I wouldn't say this is a fail. I think she looks beautiful both ways. She looks beautiful with her freckles and she looks beautiful like that too. Like, I don't know. I think you guys should just do what makes you happy, whether that's rocking the natural look or rocking the makeup look or like, I don't know, whatever else you want to do. Dress up like a cat. That's what makes you happy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.